So today I'm here to show you the beautiful One Ring collection which is based on the books by J.R.O. Tolkien and um, it is Lord of the Rings and um, I'm not 100% familiar with Lord of the Rings. I have seen uh, one, other, one of the movies which I just wasn't crazy about um, and, but I do think that she carried the inspiration for this film out beautifully like she always does. This is sort of a dark film with um, you know hobbits and all that stuff so um, but like I said beautiful beautiful collection and I love how she carried out the inspiration. The first color um, my precious <laughs> um, Golem's favorite favorite sentence is this beautiful shimmery gold Golem personally gives me the creeps, which is why I'm just not into the movie, but um, check it out if you're interested. It, 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 it is beautiful scenic-wise because it's filmed in New Zealand. This is Lock Bear. And then we have five eyeshadow pigments. Um, most of them are pretty cool toned in green with the exception of Evil Eye, which is a matte, um, warm, orangey, blood orange color. Uh, her second cream color highlight ever, which is a peach undertone cream color highlight, and um, her iconic um, dupe of the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick, and this is her first ever vegan lip butter that is replacing her Molly's Lips formula, and it is scented like spearmint and vanilla. So Liv Tyler wore um, Black Honey Lipstick in the movie, so that's where this comes from. And um, Middle Earth, which is a fabulous, earthy, almost masculine cologne smell but without that commercial um, alcohol fragrance to it. It's very earthy. It's got fur, uh, the smell of fur in it, oak moss, but it is a little uh, lighter than that because it does have a little bit of vanilla absolute which softens it by quite a bit. You can put this on any areas you want like your wrist, your behind your ear, and this will travel nicely because it's, uh, it's solid. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. I will link her shop down below so you can go ahead and check out this full collection. You can get it with or without the perfume or you can just get it piece by piece, whatever your heart desires. I'll put a link to my blog spot down below so you can check out my review of this collection and see swatches. Um, I'll also link Miss JBM 22's review tutorial in the bottom bar so you can check out her take on this and um, she's more into Lord of the Rings than I am so you can see her take from somebody who really likes Lord of the Rings. So I hope that you enjoy this and thank you for watching. Let's get my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil which is normally what I take and I'm going to go for her new cream color base which is Lady of Light. This has a very similar packaging to Debutante Cream Blush but of course the labels change with each collection and here's Lady of Light which is basically just a peachy flesh toned color with light copper shimmer. I'm going to go ahead and place this directly underneath the brow bow just to raise the arch a bit. And I very lightly filled in my eyebrows. I just wanted to take it down a notch. I think they were getting a little bushy the way I was filling them in. I'm going to take Archer Eyeshadow, which uh, the labels are all very consistent with the products, which is very cool. I like it. It's very clean um, looking. Yeah, like I, Miss JBM mentioned that they're also kind of dirty looking, which is kind of cool because uh, they're not like NARS packaging that gets really gross and dirty. This is a really cool um, taupey beige color with some um, glitter or shimmer that's in about the same color family. I'm going to pick this up on the 772. We're just going to place this color over my precious. You could also take a mixing medium, which I considered taking, but then I remembered I have all these cream bases that the collection came with. And now I'm going to take Evil Eye, which is sort of a matte blood orange color. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this color as my transition shade. I'm going to use this just to warm up the look a little bit. and take a light hand of this. start with the brow highlight. I'm going to take Louvre from the All Natural line, but it's very opaque and it's overall and and look is pretty it's pretty matte. The reason why she pretty much just satins over mattes is because satins do blend easier and they lay on the skin a little nicer. I'm now going to take Ice Princess just because it's such a pale pale white color and 
just kind of reminds me of something very ethereal, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that underneath the arch of the brow. And I would, I do always try to take just the collection as much as possible, but I usually end up taking a couple other um, pigments of hers within one of these new launch looks I do because um, just to add depth or add a highlight tone, not all her collections have a new highlighter. So I'm place Ice Princess in the inner tear duct. I think it's actually really nice that not all her collections will have like a black or a highlight color because there's only so many, I mean there's a lot of things you could do with that, but there's only so many if you know what I mean. And eventually, you know, you don't want to end up with pretty much all the same products. I'm now going to take Strider, which looks like this, and it's sort of a matte teen hunter green. It's got kind of an olive kick to it. So once again, pigments are on my blog. Go ahead and check that out if you want to see this up close. I'm going to pop this on the 785. One of the main colors you'll notice in this collection is the use of green and golden bronze undertones. I think she took a lot of inspiration from the filming no location in New Zealand. The outer corner using the same brush. I add some depth to the look and I'm going to take Wise Wizard, which is the, the bluey matte, kind of reminds me of like a dolphin or a whale skin or an overcast ocean. I'm going to add this to the deep crease. Take Baguette, which is a new color from her All Natural line, and this Sigma E40. I'm just going to blend out the edges of um, the dark colors so that it flows into the brow bone a little easier. As you can see, I'm blending it up at a tilt, and it just kind of makes the eye open up nicely because I didn't take it straight through the crease, which in my mind just looks like a stripe through the crease. And especially on my eye shape, very aging and unbecoming. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm now gonna take the Tarte Multiply Eye Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna start in the center of my eyelid toward the lash line, of course. And I'm just going to draw that straight up using little sketchy motions occasionally popping open my eye so I can see how high the line has gotten. I'm now going to take Zuzu Lux Eyeliner in Obsidian and I'm going to place this on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the Dell Tool 781 which is this pencil -y brush. I'm going to take Shire which is a olive tone to shimmery green. I'm just going to place that on the lower lash line and blend it out. It's more of Archer, which is the first color we took all over the eyelid. And I'm going to place this in the inner portion of my inner tear duct on the lower bit. That'll just create this really smooth, beautiful glisten. I'm just taking the Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. We're going to make the lashes appear fuller and thicker. I'm now going to take the Inglot YSM Cream Foundation. And this is in shade number 25. Take the Lady of Light. Um, cream based highlighter and we're just going to place this on the back of the cheekbone a little on the cupid's bow I'm also going to apply some right here above the eyebrow just to light that area up a bit I'm now going to set my face with the pumpkin and poppy oil absorbing mineral veil because I'm going to apply some of her powder products to my cheeks take Camber Blush that came out with her gem collection and this is a really pretty um, kind of very pigmented pinky coral with a satin finish and we're just going to take a little bit of that color touch of Evil Eye which is that matte blood orange color I'm 
and just buff it out so it becomes uh, one with the skin. I'm going to be taking Inglot 67. I'm just going to completely line and fill in the lips. It's not going to make a huge color impact. Walk Bear Cream Color Base, which is this really pretty coppery red color. Relax your lips and work it into the lip. Last, but certainly not the very least, is one of the first ever vegan lip butters created. Um, she discontinued the Molly's lip. It has the scent of the original Molly's lips um, tinted lip balm, and um, she just wanted to create something iconic. Um, the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick has been huge, and the Revlon lip butters have been huge. So she took inspiration from that to create a very natural lip butter, if you will, that is created with vegetable um, products rather than animal products. Inspiration for this is the lipstick Liv Tyler wore in the movie, which was Clinique's Black Honey. Once again, same scent as the original Molly's Tinted Lip Balm, so if you like that, you'll probably be in love with this. I think it's got spearmint and vanilla. And it's kind of in the same color family as the Lock Bear Cream Base. Um, and you still have the same general effect. So I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.